mind my P's and Q's because today is a very important day. Today is my wife Melinda's birthday. Oh, so, wow. Happy birthday, Melinda. Wow. Happy birthday, Melinda. Y'all know Melinda. Y'all love Melinda. She's a sweetheart. No doubt about it. Happy birthday. We can get Packy. Why don't you sing happy birthday to her? What? Oh, he's doing his TikTok thing. We're oh, back on TikTok. We're back on TikTok. Joy to the world. Golly bum. But anyway. You better not say too much today, Stephen, or we'll get right back off TikTok. So what did you get her? Did you buy her a Mercedes Benz or? No, but I'm going to cook her a nice. Rolls Royce? No, but I'm going to cook her a nice dinner tonight. Oh, okay. Are you a cook? Yeah, I'm the cook. I didn't know house. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when you say cook, what are you talking about cook? Like when I cook, it's bologna. like. Bologna. Fried bologna. That's Stephen. Yeah, or eggs. I can scramble eggs. Or actually, uh, I'm going to cook her some duck breast and uh, probably some vegetables of various sorts. Yeah. And we might even have a little really good red wine with that. Wow. You know? Some uh, that fancy wine that nobody can pronounce the name of. That's right. And that, that uh, you know, I, it, but it tastes real good. What was it? What was it? You did. She Sherry called out a wine name the other day, like like Orvieto. Orvieto. Is that as good as Boone's Farm? Not nearly, I don't think. So, it's it's, it's generally a very minerally white from Italy. From Italy, that's right. Yes. I ain't nothing in Italy. I like Boone's Farm. There's a lot man. in Italy. I ain't nothing. They've got there. really great Italian wines. They've got some great, great food. Italy has some great wines. They ain't got, where's now, Boone's? Why, where's Boone's why they hadn't accomplished, well, they did accomplish a lot in the Renaissance and a lot of, you know, in the history, but... Why they're such a mess now, of course, the same could be said for America these days. I mean, they got all them cool-looking also, cars. I also like junk. wines from the Alsace region of France. Do you, you like the virtue demeanor? Do you like, like Riesling? Riesling? What do you like? Uh, I like the dry Riesling. I don't like a sweet Riesling. Yeah. But you can find some really nice dry Rieslings in the Alsace version uh, area. I'm familiar. This is the Jim and Sherry uh, <laughs> gastronomic show, the culinary, the cooking show. You want to talk about wine? Yeah, you want to talk about food and wine? Look, yeah. man, if they don't have it in a gas station, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> moon pies. You think it's a booze moon farm pies. and a gas station fried chicken. Yeah. yeah. We're now on. we talking. Ugh. Yeah. Pickled eggs. Don't get above Ugh. your raisin. Let's get some more pickled eggs in here for Steve. It's not about getting above your raisin. It's developing a palate. A can of grizzly, a, a six-pack of bush it's light. A hey, Sherry, and a, a palate. Ain't that four. some sort of wood it's kind of platform It's about choosing that you your calories. It's about not just eating to, to gorge yourself. It's about eating food that is actually good for you and tastes good. Sherry, are you What's wrong actually, with fried chicken? Sherry, are you actually mentioning portion control on yeah, this show? Yeah, I know. Just look at the camera, folks. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about, and I'll be honest with you. I'm proud that I don't. Uh -huh. I'll be honest. I'm just gonna stick with my what I know. Yeah. And what R would that be? RC and moon pie. <laughs> All right, some of that. Well, yes, Stephen, like, Stephen, you want some birthdays? I got one right here. I'd like to throw out there if I could. You What's know, we that? talked about your lovely wife, but how about in, in 1912 from Hickman County, Tennessee, Minnie Pearl? Minnie Pearl, yep. I saw that. Yeah. Minnie Pearl, yeah. And she was actually, you know, the funny thing about her, she came off as a, a redneck like me, but she really was a very sophisticated. She was a very smart lady. Yep, I've read yep. up about she her. She was very oh, yeah. smart. So. Oh yeah. And uh, But anyway, happy birthday to her. What else you got? The famous artist, pa uh, Pablo Picasso. Yeah, he I wasn't was a huge fan from... of him. His and... earlier work I thought was better than that yes. stuff that was famous. Yes. I thought he played music. And Johann Strauss, that well, he played Pablo music. Cruz, maybe. I don't uh. know. Uh, <laughs> Leo G. Carroll, remember him? Topper? No, where yeah. is Topper? We don't ever see Topper much anymore. I think no, he's, he's talking about gone. the real Topper. He's flying them chickens. And here's one, Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight. Mr. Calm, well-mannered, yeah, the right maniac, her, uh, for throwing chairs. and. Oh, James you know. Carville's birthday's today. Oh, the, I call him the Martian. Doesn't he look kind of like a space alien or something <laughs> with those ears? I like listening ears? to him talk, though. I like <laughs> that Louisiana accent. Sorry. All right, what else have we got? <laughs> I got a sad day today in 1992. Roger Miller, singer, songwriter, and musician, passed away. He hit the road, huh? I love Roger Miller, no doubt. You know, we've had Dean Miller on, and he's cool, too. But anyway, Roger Miller passed away. I loved him. Did you like Roger Miller? Yeah, I liked yeah, him. Yeah, he had some cool stuff. Today in history, <clears throat> in 1980, ACDC earns their first top 40 hit with You Shook Me All Night Long. Yeah, and that's funny when you try to sing that. It's like, because you can't get as high as that dude does. You know, I want to see Steven dress up in those little bitty shorts and, I do, don't. and prance around the see, stage. See, we need to talk like, about like what's going on with you Jim, there. Jim, I have totally t t changed my whole outlook on you now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 
Oh, Jim. And I don't think that was I can see you want to see Packy maybe transfer around the stage because he's got that feminine body, you know. No, no, time. I didn't mean it from, from a personal <laughs> if you enjoyment. Can play, if Stephen I want to can just, play. I want to see that spectacle. I want to see If Stephen can play the guitar like Angus Young, I'll watch him in those short shorts. I just That's want to right. see I all the shocked it. expressions of all the people around <laughs> Hiawassee and Young Harris when when he prances. And the word is prance, prancing out on the stage like that. Yeah, I torque, man. <laughs> I torque. You, you torque when you walk. You can't help it. It just flaps around. I reckon in 2012, Michael Jackson topped their list as the highest earning dead musician celebrity. How about that? More the than Elvis? Earning. Yeah, $145 million past Elvis. Uh but ranking number two with fifty five million in earnings, and Bob Marley with seventeen million, and they're making this when they're dead. Well, that's how a do they get that? <laughs> that's a pathetic commentary on us, isn't it, Stephen? I, I mean, mean, we're alive and look at us. Well, I, I don't. I'm what the heck? How do they get that money anyway? <laughs> it's called talent. I mean, but it's they're called dead. royalties they're, and yes, royalties and. And, and they, it's the gift that keeps on giving. In 2001, Jerry Garcia, y'all know who the Grateful Dead, right? Right. Mm -hmm. 13 law mm -hmm. firms still involved in claims to the Grateful Dead and the guitarist uh, for $10 million estate six years after his death. His wife and his girlfriend are still fighting over the money. It's all about the money. Six years after he's dead, they still want their part. Oh, we love you so much, but give me my money. Give me my money. I put up with you all these years. Reckon they ever got it? I don't know. <laughs> you always wonder who gets it. You know what I'm saying? Well, we know who gets it. The IRS gets it. In 19, 1986, here's a big deal. Bon Jovi, number one, slippery with wet. Slippery when wet. I love Bon Jovi. You like John Bon Jovi? Yeah. Are you kidding? He's like cool still. Yeah. He's like still. I'm kid. sure you do like him. He's that pretty boy. You give you love like a bad name uh -oh. and living on a prayer. That was a great out. Eight uh, million copies worldwide. I thought it was very commercial and. Of course it was. Yeah. yeah. And he wasn't all that talented. He had a good guitarist, the Richie Zambora. Richie Z yes, he did. But but didn't That's they kick him though. out or he left or something? He went out on his own for he a while. Did. Yeah. 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 Couldn't make it without him. The thing about Bon Jovi, though, man, he's like he's like his age, and he looks his age, he acts his age. You know, you got all these other people that are trying to be young still that's old, you know, and they're still trying to wear leather pants. I'm like, come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're old. Back to you prancing around. I don't around care how many prancing around. You, have, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, wait, it's your day today, National Greasy Food Day. All right. All right. This yep. is... Ugh. I'm surprised he's even here. This would be a holiday. Yeah. Well, in the yesterday Phillips was household. a food day, too, I think. It's been food hey, here's bologna. Some, and here's something for your women. In 1986, for the first time in history, Billboard Hot 100, the top three spots were held by female solo acts. 1986? 1986. Cindy right, Lauper was number one with Madonna? True Colors. Nope, Madonna ain't on here. True Colors, Cindy Lauper. I like, I like Cindy Lauper. Uh, was number one. Tina Turner. Typical male, she was number two. And Janet Jackson, when I think of you. Huh. Out of all of those, Tina Turner is the only one I really care about. You don't about. like Cindy Lauper? That true I colors. cannot believe that you That's like a, Cindy Lauper, to be honest. That true Colors is awesome, man. Prince actually wrote that Do song. Do you get up and sing that? when you? True finish? Colors shining through. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I see true so, colors. I'm what like, I girls just know. want to have fun, and that's Cindy Lauper. That's, no, that's that song. Well, that was actually wrote for a man, and they changed it so yeah. she could sing it. Oh, thank God. I mean, what I'm wondering, if he says he likes Cindy Lauper, I'm wondering when Emily is going to agree to dye her hair purple and, or something. And yeah, yeah. pulled plugs yeah. out yeah. of the side of her head. Yeah. Oh, she's not who she is. Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Listen just, to who's talking. He's the one who got us kicked off of whatever no, platform Packy yesterday. Did. No, it was you for hate speech. I did not. Yes, it was. Packy got you back on. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. Chucky, Chucky the Notorious was. Killer Doll. I thought those were awful movies. The Chucky movies, uh, the little red oh, yeah, 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 doll thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And here's your day, Sherry. Cyrus Day. I'll take National Greasy Food. You can be the Cyrus Day. Only for You're an hour from sire. 8 to 9. Oh, well, let's get to break. <laughs> I don't even have my stuff queued up. Well, you don't have to. There's Young Harris Water Sports. We don't know. We know all about them. I guarantee. And what about them? And it's getting wintertime, folks. So you probably need to think about getting your uh, all your uh, boats and your RVs winterized, winterized, not just your boat. 
because uh, that would not be good to wake up next year and want to go boat riding or go camping and then water is pouring out of everything and everywhere. So That's go out and check before, out what young and probably be a good time to buy a boat because end of the season clearance sales. That's so true. Y'all go by and check out Young Harris Water Sports. And now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. Most Cherokee County residents were oblivious to a major police chase from Murphy to Andrews at 5 in the morning Sunday, but law enforcement eventually got their man, an Andrews resident who allegedly shot his female companion and took off in a Kia. Murphy Police Chief Tim Lomanak tells WJRB that 40-year-old Christopher Michael Rhodes is in the county lockup for assault with a deadly weapon with intention to kill, along with attempted kidnapping and attempted strangulation. The driver of the car, William Patrick Bradley, also of Andrews, was arrested for reckless driving. It all started at the Murphy Burger King when shots were allegedly fired at 4.40 a.m. The cops were called and the high-speed chase began. In the time that it took to apprehend them, Lomanac says a woman who had been in the car ran into the nearby Best Western Hotel saying she had been shot in the shoulder. She was taken to Erlanger Western Carolina Hospital, where it is believed that she will recover. Lomanac adds that Rhodes and the unnamed woman were involved in another domestic disturbance earlier in the week. McConnell Memorial Baptist Church is helping a Hiawassee family of four who lost their home in a Sunday afternoon fire. Towns County Fire Chief Harold Copeland tells WJRB that the husband and father heard an explosion and headed toward the carport. And when he went to investigate, it was a lot of heat flames and a massive smoke and he got the told the wife to activate 911 got the kids out and they went next door to the neighbors and they watched helplessly as their 2,000 square foot home in the Hiawassee River subdivision burned to the ground luckily the man his wife and their two young children made it out safely Copeland speculates that it started in the area where the homeowner was recharging a blower and a weed eater the McConnell church is helping with supplies for the family as they try to figure it all out Please download the free WJRB app for Pat Malone and Harry Bond. I'm Jeff Batten. If you can't get enough of fall festivals, the place to be is Vogel State Park this Saturday starting at 1030 a.m. The Vogel State Park Annual Fall Festival benefits park programs and park improvements and has something for everyone. Like the Duck Derby down Wolf Creek, food trucks, local arts and crafts, vendors, ghost stories, and of course, great pickers and musicians all afternoon. A daily $5 park pass per vehicle, please. So fall into a great festival Saturday at Vogel State Park, 10 miles south of Blairsville. If you've been injured, you don't need to go to Atlanta or Gainesville to find a lawyer. The law office of Daniel Duello specializes in accident cases and is based in Blairsville. I used to defend insurance companies and saw their attempts to pay less through pressure and delays. Now I want to use that experience to help you get treated fairly. Just search for Daniel Duello or call 706-603-3036 and I'll see you in Blairsville. It's 706-603-3036. Union General Hospital continues to make medical news across the state, and this one comes straight from the heart. Specifically, an advanced heart failure accreditation bestowed by the American College of Cardiology. Union General is one of the very few in the state of Georgia, or even nationally, to receive this exceptional recognition. Your community caregiver features the best medical practitioners in the area, a good thing to remember when it's time to make a heart-rending decision. Union General Hospital, for over 60 years, your community caregiver. West Tubing Company in Warren has two words for you this fall. Get lost. That's right, it's back. Lose yourself in four different mazes. Especially set up for family fun. And don't forget to visit the pumpkin patch while you're there. It'll be a great day for hay rides, a birthday party, or family gathering. Come stay in our tents or cabins and enjoy fall in the mountains. West Tubing Company in Warren. Set up for family fun on Old Highway 64. Not your ordinary tubing company. Today's word of the day, the Japanese word, teppanyaki. Teppan, as in the metal plate on which the food is cooked, and yaki, which means grilled, broiled, or pan-fried. And if you're on the Murphy Highway, put this new education to work at Teppanyaki Time in Blairsville. Teppanyaki Time is a Japanese kitchen where your party will love Executive Chef Kim's fresh rolled sushi, poke bowls, fried rice, and yakisoba noodle bowls. Now open on the Murphy Highway next to Verizon, where it's always Teppanyaki Time. 
There's honey do lists and there's honey I can't do this list. Heavy digging, tree stump removal, driveway grading. Call Mike in Blairsville. Mike Whittemore runs Georgia Mountain Grading and he loves big jobs. Erosion control, culverts, and digging. Yeah, digging. We covered that already. Georgia Mountain Grading. They're insured and they answer when you call. Fast estimates at 706 994 for Georgia Mountain Grading. 706 994 the Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, we're back with you. Hope everybody's doing good. We're going to open the phone lines up. We're going to open the phone lines up because we've uh, had a few complaints. <laughs> so we would like to know. Of course, we're going to have to set some standards here. you got to be nice, no cussing, none of that kind of stuff whatsoever. What kind but of complaints have you got? I want uh, people want to, on the other side, they want to weigh in on why we should vote for Stacey Abram and that so Warlock guy. So if y'all would like to tell us why we need to vote for Stacey Agram, Agr- Agrams, A- what's it, Abrams? Abrams. And Warlock. And Warnock. The phone lines are open, 706-379-9770. We want those folks that are for Stacey Abrams to tell us why we need to vote for her because I don't think so. So, anyway, the phone lines are open, so you're welcome to weigh in on that. Give us a call. Let us know. You ain't going to win anything, but at least you can try to persuade us. But in the sad thing, or sadder thing, sadder thing, Leslie Jordan, am I saying that right, The 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 comedian? Got killed in a car wreck yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, I, I saw, saw that. that. Yeah, you know he was a he was a funny guy. Yeah, he was a funny guy. But uh, yeah, he had like five point eight million people on his Facebook account. Or Maybe something. they'll switch over to you followers. The, I'm sure that that demographic will be just the perfect one for Stephen. I don't think, you think so too. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Actually, he got on, you know, he was a Southern Baptist, I think. Let's see. I think he was a Baptist. And they got on all the time singing gospel hymns and stuff on his on his, on his his uh, TikTok account. Did they kick him off for that, Packy? Probably. Probably. That's hate speech, isn't it? I guess it is. Yep. But he was kind of, he was, he was, he was funny. Yeah, he was definitely funny. He was a funny. funny guy. 67 years old, they said they thought it was because of a medical emergency while driving. Oh. Uh. Yep. So it's always sad, ain't it? Yep. I always sad. But anyway, I never knew him. Did y'all know him? Not personally, no. Yeah. Someone. Anybody anybody here claustrophobic? Nah. Would I admit I'll that just, in front of Stephen? Probably not. Well, we were it doing would be phobias wise. at one time. What is that phobia, Stephen? What does that mean? Is it, it claustroph- claustrophobia? Fear of tight spaces. Claus- well, Claus- I just saw. Oh, yeah. It's closet phobia. I just was was uh, looking at a news story for today, thinking, oh boy, this would not be good. Five tourists have been trapped twenty stories underground. Uh, at the Grand Canyon Caverns because the elevator that takes you down underground 20 stories has broken. Wow. <laughs> they charge them extra for staying down there longer? <laughs> if you make it out alive, I guess. My wife Hopefully there's a bar down freak there. freak out. Emily's claustrophobic. Really? I'm not kidding you. Yeah, she would freak out. Yeah, I would be. That would, that be would not be a good situation. Yeah, we would. a hole in the wall. You know, we went, we went to the Hoover Dam, and they take you in that elevator, you know, and, and the elevator's as big as this room, but they put 40 people on there or Ugh. 60 people on there. I didn't think we was going to make it. I'm not kidding. I didn't think we was going to make it. I mean, she was, uh, yeah, she was in dire straits the time we got to the bottom. And the problem was, once we got to the bottom, she's like, I, I can't go back up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is she still out there? We got her up there, yeah. We got her back in, got her up, and put her right on the, where the door's at, so we got her back up. But Hey, uh, I've, I've got a question for you. I just saw, uh, I'm, I'm curious about your future prepper plans here, because I see that uh, uh, in the news it says that the United States has a total of 25 days of diesel fuel, and that's it. That's not good. So, so I didn't uh, know that. Do you do you have any diesel vehicles? I've got about yeah, I got about six or eight of them that run all the time. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know. Good luck. Yeah. Or a the bigger thing <laughs> is if that is true, uh, how are the trucks going to get anything shipped? Yeah, are they going to be your electric? Pam, your spam, your potted meat. All I want to know. Stuff. I want to know how come none of y'all Stacey Abrams supporters are not calling in. That's what I want to know. They're embarrassed. They're not even listening to they're this show. They're embarrassed. They're, they're, they're not embarrassed. even listening to this show. <laughs> they're embarrassed. They don't want anybody to know that they're 
Thanks well, they something. should be they should be glad to call in, and they should be very proud of what I mean. For example, they should be very proud of what uh, Brandon, I mean Biden, has done. He has released more oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve than any other president ever since the reserve was founded in 1973. Yeah, that is an achievement to be very proud of. Where, where did, who ended up with that oil? People overseas, but it, it'll make sure that prices go down just in time for something in November. Are you watching the platform collapse, Packy? I see it on your I'm face. Just watching it. It's yeah, about to happen. Yeah. About hey, to we get got kicked a, off. Huh? We got a radio host dies while presenting his breakfast show. Mm. Oh, it's just uh, just sudden adult death uh, syndrome, whatever it is. Yes, sudden death syndrome. Uh, You get that? He was fifty-five years old. He was fifty-five years old. Hey, the phones are ringing. The phones are ringing. Oh my gosh! All uh, one of them called. You know, I I hate this for this old boy. I really do. Uh, I really hate this for him. But I just wonder. uh, Anybody know any contact for this bunch? I'd like to get signed up. Who are you talking about? This radio host that passed away. They're not going to give you the show. Why? They won't if I don't ask. Because your idea of a good meal is spam rubbed on chicken. They're not going to give you that. Who's on the phone, Pack? Nobody. They hung up. They hung up. (laughs) They got embarrassed. It was a crank call. Yeah. (laughs) Why? I could do this. (laughs) <laughs> what? what what do you have to do just do get on the, just get on the phone and talk i mean sherry just get on the radio and run your mouth yeah well you can't do that generation x radio Where, what is generation x who is generation x well, they're slightly younger than you i think or well, maybe well steven might actually be part of gen x when when does generation uh, x start i think he's too old for that i'm not generation of americans between 65 and 80 oh i'm there i'm there no 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 that's those are boomers yeah 65 and 80 is boomers no boomers would have been in the 50s no that's Can't whenever, be. Well, the boomers. Baby. You're saying year 65 to 1980, not age. Oh, I'm the saying, year I'm 1965. Born, born in 1960. In, yeah. What year were you born? 67 or you're, 68. You're a Gen X. I'm Gen X. Oh, God. Best Gen generation X. ever. Well, yeah. not, not according to this. We had all that great music in the 70s and the 80s. We had that weird hair in the 80s. What are Gen Xers known for? The first generation to grow up with personal computers. Oh. To some extent, thus becoming tech savvy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's me, baby. You know, that's two words I never thought I'd hear with Steven's name. Tech and, and savvy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tech savvy. They're also known as the latch key generation. And the lost generation. As they were often left unsupervised <laughs> home after Again? school. Until parents He's still home. unsupervised. I am. Uh, exactly. We did. And that's the thing, man. I don't know how old were you when you your mom felt like she could leave you alone, Packy. Twenty? I mean <laughs> She's still trying to leave him alone. Are you kidding? He won't leave. I mean, I was left to watch my little brother when I was like ten or eleven. They're expert DIYers. Yeah, I'm a DIYer. <laughs> yeah, Duct I'm an tape. expert. What is DIYers? Do it yourself. <laughs> They're tech savvy. Oh, I'm tech savvy. <laughs> We're learning all kinds of new exciting stuff. Now, now she's what's the one before? That's the baby boomers. That'd be that'd be you, wouldn't it? I'm also Gen X. I was born in '66. Moron. Was you born in '66? Yes. I'm the only baby boomer on this show. Really? Yeah. Look at here. We're only youngsters. Baby We're the then we got yeah. millennial. I know you are. We then got we, the millennial guy. We got the millennial over here. What else you got? You got something you're looking sideways at me about? The this led to so divorces were high apparently with your parents, not your parents, but your parents in your generation. So this led to cynical and rebellious youth. Ah, I was rebellious. Synonymous. With and for no punk. reason, because you had a really good solid family. I just your like parents to rebel. Were, and what happened to you? Yeah. And you were. I'm, uh, I'm you, perfect. I'm the baby. The baby's led, always the best. That led to a punk and grunge music. Yeah, I remember punk rock. I always were thought you, they were. Were you into Nirvana? Nirvana, Nirvana you Kurt know, you Cobain? Had, you had were kids you? going around with dog collars on. Y'all remember that? I'm oh, sure yeah. some people had dog collars on. I'm like, what the that, heck is wrong Sherry, with you? Sherry, that, that's another image I'd like to see. Steven wearing a, do- a dog collar Are at you a midnight on express. Or something? I don't think uh, so. I'm thinking a little <laughs> pink one. You know, like a little poodle collar with pink. A little poodle collar. Little bells dingling on it. Ding, ding, ding. I don't know. I know one thing. The phone lines are open for all you Stacey Nobody Abrams supporters. Nobody wants to talk to you. Do you think any of those people are actually listening to this show, Stephen? I do think they no are. No way. It. No way. Are you kidding? Undoubtedly no. No. 706-379-9770. Please call. <laughs> Please call and talk to Stephen. He's really, really lonesome. 
It ain't going to be long. He, he's Dr. A, Dr. Stevens' he's a advice to the Dr. Stevens' advice to the lovelorn. Now that yeah. there would be a good show. We were doing the, something like that. He was given or was it Packy was giving him tips on how to pick up women and Stephen was given Pat, relation. Packy would know about that? Well, uh well, that's I don't know. I had some good advice, man. It was like take all your dollar bills and turn them into change and put it in your pockets and jingle it in front of the your crush. Yeah. That way you sound rich, you know. Yeah. There were a couple of them that were real winners, yeah. I reckon we got the, uh, the everybody's talking about voter <laughs> suppression. We've got nearly 7.3 million early absentee ballots already cast. 7.3 million. Wow. The phone's ringing, the phone's ringing. Are you talking about in Georgia? No, this is across the country, 7.3 7. I think million I'll wait until the day of and do my voting. I do that. Do you do the? Do you vote early? Or do you do no, the day of? I, I've always voted day of. The only, I, now, I take it back one year. I had to vote early because I had to be out of town the day of, but. I've been voting early the last few years, but I, I might wait until the day itself. Yeah, this I'm, year. I guess I'm kind of weird like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of. So like do you? Okay, so you know who you, overall? I'm sure you have a pretty good idea who you're going to vote for. But what always gets me, and I've been, been better as I've gotten older, is to research like all these other people that are on those ballots, the judges and all that, because to get in there and you have no idea who these people are. No, I I just pull the big R. That's what I do. Well, Man, sometimes we done, there's more than hey, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got, we got somebody. all kinds of listeners. Alejandro. Alejandro. <laughs> good morning. Well, good morning. How are I you? Just wanted to, well, I'm good. I wanted to talk about Stacey Abrams. Oh, right. I don't, have much, I don't have much time, but I want to tell you that she was on 285 and got lost. And she stopped in the gas station to ask directions and said, how do I get back to 285? And the guy said, "You lose about fifty pounds." Ah, oh, there you go. I'm there with you, you go. on that. <laughs> I can, I can sense that one coming. <laughs> Have a good day. Ah, man, you take care. Alejandro, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Packy. I don't is... think I don't think that was a supporter for Stacey Abrams. <laughs> this is pretty interesting, Packy. You'll appreciate this. Star Wars actor Mark Hamill sends five hundred drones to the Ukraine to help him. That's pretty awesome. What the heck are they gonna do with drones? Well, they they'll sit there and things. have a party while the Russians shoot them down. No, these are drones that fire. Do they? <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. I'd like to have one of them. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think you'll ever get one. So where would where would you send that? If you had a drone that could actually shoot, you know, or you know, drop bombs, where would you send it? What's that? Where's the first target you'd hit? I mean, the drones that are being shipped to Russia that Russia's using shoot. The first target the I hit. Yeah. Sherry, where do you live at? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get to You know, break. I don't have to worry about that. Please, you're, you're, get us out of here to aim, a break. Your aim is so bad, it wouldn't matter if you knew exactly where That is where the truth, I but I got a lot of bullets. That's the way I work. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank Young Harris Water Sports. You need to go to yhwatersports.com and check them out. They have also got a full line of RVs over there, not to mention a full line of uh, ways to service those RVs. So if you're looking for service, RVs, boats, you name it, you need to go over to Young Harris Water Sports. You can call them at 706 896-0834. Young Harris Water Sports and RV now offering new RVs from top brands like Cedar Creek Fifth Wheels, Cottage and Villa Park Models, Salem Travel Trailers, No Boundaries Extreme Off-Road Towables, and more. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the largest service center parts and accessories selection in the area, so there's no need to leave the mountains. Woo-hoo! Young Harris Water Sports and RV, located at 3676 Highway 76 or online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! Nothing shines brighter under the Friday night's heights than a brand new Ford. And no better place to buy than Jackie Jones Ford in Hayesville. Take advantage of models in stock and on the lot at Jackie Jones Ford in Hayesville. From the moment you walk into the showroom, you'll know our commitment to customer service is second to none. Jackie Jones Ford of Hayesville. 1493 Highway 64 West, 828-389-6325 and online at jjfordhayesville.com. Craving a Bayou feast? Savor New Orleans flavor at Carlotta's in Hayesville. Serving up po' boys, hot dogs, mufalettas, and boudin balls from Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 7. The market is open, too, featuring specialty meats, cheeses, and other food items like jams and jellies, coffees and teas, kitchen items, and gift items. And, of course, the shaved ice snowballs are still a Carlotta's trademark. So rediscover Carlotta's near Highway 69 and 64 in Hayesville. Bon appetit, y'all. Life's biggest moments call for unique and beautiful gifts. 
Let Davis Jewelers take away all the worry and indecision with a beautiful pendant, ring, necklace, or earrings. We've got a huge selection of unique pieces to make every special moment become an oh wow moment. Our experts at Davis Jewelry want to help you find the perfect piece for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings and engagements, or just because. Find us at 417 Blue Ridge Street in Blairsville or davisjewelry.jewelershowcase.com. Hello, I'm attorney David Barrett. People sometimes tell me, I don't need a will. I don't have any money. Even if that's true, situation could change fast if you die and there's an insurance settlement. Wills are especially important for young parents with kids. Leave your loved ones your belongings, not a mess. If you don't have a will or need to update one, call 706-745-0250. That is 706-745-0250 for an appointment. What's that old saying about real estate? Location is everything? Well, you could say the same about retirement living at Simpson Estates in Wesley Village in Blairsville. The mountains, the views, the bright fall leaves, the powdery snow. Simpson Estates is just outside of Blairsville, where residents own their own homes. Contact Kevin Queen at 706-745-5565 to arrange a visit. For persons 55 years and older who are drawn to the idea of living independently at the Simpson Estates at Wesley Woods in Blairsville. The Morning Dish! Young Harris Water Sports says it may be Tuesday, but on the lake, every day's the weekend. Young Harris Water Sports is ranked number one in customer service and boasts the number one full marine service department in the mountain area. So make it the best Tuesday ever at Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, folks, our phone lines must be blocked with all the phone calls coming in. It's important. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, the phone lines they are blocked. just can't blocked. get through. Yep. We're still waiting. That. Yeah. <laughs> Attorney sues Italian restaurant change for a de- deceptive, deceptive, am I saying that right? $2 inflation fee. It's... What? Yeah, I reckon they add $2 to your bill for inflation. They said it's deceptive, deceptive. That's actually, what is the name of the restaurant? I, y'all eat there all the time. I love that place. I'm looking for the name here now. All these all these words kind of run together. Here, well, you'll start seeing. I'll I've, start I've seen seeing fuel minute. charges and everything else on your bills. Yeah, but he said you can't do that. Can you do that? Can you add it? Well, it, they do the thing with the tip. They get they add the tip in there. They're like some places do. Some that. places do that. Yeah. Inflation fee is called inflation fee. Prior to Biden's administration, that's probably what it is. This attorney's in Hawaii. Golly, that'd be cool to be attorney in Hawaii, wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go to Hawaii one time. Wouldn't y'all like to go to Hawaii? I've been to Hawaii. Huh? I've been there. He's been there. Oh, you've been to Hawaii? To the Big Island, yeah. Oh, the Big Island. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then you just jump right over to uh no, We didn't Alaska. go to Maui or any of that. No. Uh, Roman's <laughs> Macaroni Grill. That's not what I was talking about. It's Roman's Macaroni Grill. That sounds like a real nice restaurant. Macaroni Grill. I think they're, it's Italian, sort of. Macaroni. I had them in Houston. I remember seeing those. Ma- is macaroni Italian? It's a pasta, yes, Stephen. I thought macaroni was American. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe it's got Italian pasta, but I think the macaroni is American. I'm just saying that particular Southern American. restaurant chain, I remember those in Houston, and they had Italian-style fare, yes. Food. A fair? Food. Food. I'm oh. sorry. Let me be plain for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll keep those syllables and letters down. I reckon the 107,000 GMC Sierra electric vehicle Denali electric truck sold out in 15 minutes after they announced they were going. There's there's a waiting list for a bunch of, like, the, what is it, the Ford? Is it the Lightning? Yeah, but here's like the thing. There's like a two-year waiting list for It's really a good-looking truck. There's no doubt this is a good-looking truck. And there's a waiting list on this truck. But after you get it, then you're going to be waiting for it to charge. It's just a wait and keep waiting. You know what I'm saying? I w- we were someplace the other day, and there was two guys behind him talking about their electric vehicles. You know, when they were bragging. You know how you do. Guys do, oh, my truck's faster than your truck kind of thing. My truck charges faster than your truck. Mine can charge in 2.5 hours, you know. And <laughs> other guys, well, I can do mine in two hours. I'm like... What the heck, man? If you're on a trip going somewhere two hours, that's a lot of miles you're sitting there waiting for you. 
Well, the thing is, too, back when we were young and you didn't have the cell phones and you had to kind of, you know, measure out your trip, you had to map out your trip to make sure you had a gas station on the way, especially in Texas, because there are long stretches sometimes in Texas between gas stations. It's the same thing now. Where's the next charging station? Well, what you do is you take a gas generator with you, put it yeah, in the bed of the truck and hook it up and have it charged while you drive. Yeah, that's or even hate. better, the thing with the trucks that concerns me, and why does a person buy a truck? Because you're going to haul stuff, hopefully, other than you just think you look well, no, good I watch it. this thing. And when you haul stuff, you look you don't get as much charge out of the vehicle, right? I, I watched mean, this guy that actually this is on YouTube, and he he's got one of them Ford wrap uh, whatever it is electric trucks, and he charged it to eighty percent. He was going to go twenty eight miles or maybe thirty eight miles to pick up a uh, a model pickup truck. He was hauling an aluminum trailer, and he left out with eighty percent charge and almost did not make it back home. That's what I'm talking about. So what's the point of having a truck if you can't even haul anything with it? Because you want to signal your virtue. You want everybody to know that you are environmentally conscious and that you are a virtuous person. Or, That's or why you, can you just want keep to going it. zero to sixty-five like. Everybody. That's what I do. I just stop, and go, stop and go, stop and go. That's fun, man. <laughs> yeah, that is fun. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. But uh, but where does electricity come from? Now it just it's magic. It oh, comes is it magic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little fairy a, dust. You got a guy out there with a cot with a key on it. That's where it comes from. He's just sitting out there getting electricity for us. We don't have to worry about that. Everything will happen by magic. It also comes from child labor and lithium mines, but nobody talks about that. Whatever. Oh, oh man. Packy, you're such uh, a you downer. You just got us yeah. kicked off again. You're such a downer, <laughs> Packy. Gosh. Jeez. I had to work when I was a kid. That's all I'm saying. $107,000. For what? That pickup truck. That is more than all your vehicles combined. How many bedrooms? They just about won't make it home either. <laughs> hey, how many bedrooms are in that pickup God, truck I mean, for a, that price? That's a lot of money. And, but, you know, that aside, even the gas-powered brand-new trucks I've are heard, over yes. $100,000. This is crazy. Have you shopped for a vehicle recently? Yeah. Like a used no, I shop no, daily for No, cars. no, a new vehicle. People post Never. stuff on Facebook, man. It's like, yeah, it's a 2001 F-150 with 317,000 miles on it. And I don't know. I'll take about $13,000. Yeah. I'm not well, kidding. Used cars right now are in high demand because you can't really – I mean, parts for the new ones, they're having trouble getting parts. for. They actually sell you the car, and then they mail you the parts and later. And the computer chips, too. It's still yeah. a yeah, they can't get all that stuff. It might be about time for me to sell my – 2004 Explorer, or as I like to call it, it's Exploder. my Ford, Ford Exploder. Yeah, but you won't get, I mean, mine will keep it because you won't be able to replace it. I mean, because that's the thing about it. Used cars are so expensive right now because, you know, and that's not the dealer's fault. They're trying to get new cars, but it's just the, you know, the supply chain that, uh, you it's, know, it's, it's the, the chips, though, yeah. the biggest problem with the car manufacturer. See, that's like all my cars don't have no chips. Yeah. I got chips in the paint, but that's about as far as and it goes. chips under he, the seat like Doritos. Doritos. Yeah, he's got <laughs> chips all over the place. Yeah, but, uh, but no potato chip chips. chips. Yeah, no chip chips, but. Well, maybe I need to hang on to that old Ford. Hey, Mariah Carey, she announces a Christmas concert at Madison Square Gardens. Okay. I just wanted everybody to Is know. Is she still alive? Yeah, she's still yeah, alive. Yeah, I think so. Okay, just checking. She's had so many tummy tucks and facelifts and everything else. She looks like a 80-year-old woman. <laughs> It is amazing some some of these folks, uh, male and female, but you know, it seems like uh, you notice a lot of the, the the ladies where pretty soon they do look sort of shriveled and kind of. I'd do that. Though. If I had the money, I'd get a facelift and all that stuff and hair implants and breast reduction. I'd do all that. I really would. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not? <laughs> well, that's nice that you said that because I got a message across the teletype that you would look really nice in a pink collar. What's going on with this, man? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Golly. And then something about cracking the whip on you? Uh, I don't know. Okay, Mike, I'm a little worried about you now, too. Oh, the guy's a mic. Oh, man. <laughs> It's a mic. Oh, that makes that Mike Z yeah. <laughs> or the mechanic no, mic. No, yeah. neither one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to throw him completely under the bus. How about this woman? They went to arrest her, man, and she's charged after she uh, freed all of her bees, man. She freed all of her bees on the deputies. That'd be way to get away, <laughs> would it not be? Woo. I'd be all about that. I was just letting them out for a walk. Yeah. You could say that was a sting operation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> she had all the body armor on, you know, and uh, they didn't. <sighs> Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd like to video that. I don't know that body armor's going to help against bees that get up under Well, they got that net. You know, we got the net. 
You can still get stung with that. I've had it on before. Not near as much as you do without it. That's what I'm saying. you got to make the bees like you, and then they don't sting you. Yeah, I know how that works. How does that work? You sit down and have a glass of or- Orvieto with you them. You go and down you, there and talk to them. You just talk to them and yeah. you know, reason you with them. You spend time with them, talk to them. Yeah. Yeah, you can say that, give them a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> they get a buzz when they sting back. It's you know getting that. pretty deep on this. Uh, oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, they sting Sherry. They just fall off dead. They're like, don't sting her. That's the one. That's her. She's poisonous. She's poisonous. <laughs> that gal's poisonous. Well, at least they don't die of a cholesterol overdose when they sting me like they do you. That's all right. Who says cholesterol is bad for you? The kind he has is. Look at it. What's just look at it. it. It's oozing <laughs> out of him. I reckon <laughs> Ohio superintendent defends bringing arc. Am I saying that? How do you say that? Uh, Anarch. I can't even see. Anarchist that. Bimbo, who posted about. That's a good band name. Anarchist it, Bimbo. That is a good band name. I just don't understand. Is this. that the name of your new band? I just decided that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Here's the Write thing it down though. quickly before you forget you it. You got all these people bringing these transgenders and stuff to schools and to kids and 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 doing all this dancing and stuff. What in what, the what world? That? In the world are they thinking? I mean, in what person? Is that what that's about? Because that's not what that word means. What does that mean? You don't know what an anarchist is. Yeah. All right. I What's know what it? a bimbo is. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I, I can figure that part out. But I'm just saying, why would they bring these to these kids? I don't understand. You know, we got that DeSantis yesterday. He's like uh, in his debate. He's like, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. You know, it's just not in happening. Florida, but some places it is. But why would you even think about that kind of stuff with kids? Do you want to be on TikTok or off TikTok? I don't even care. I want to be on the winning side. You know what I'm saying? The side of right and wrong, you know? I want to be on the you right side. You want to be side. on both sides? But see, that's I the problem. Right right. Everybody thinks they're on the right side. That's the problem here. I, okay. Can it's, it, No, I'm just saying. I mean, we're, I mean, honestly, how can, you, how can you defend this? I mean, if somebody did that with my... I, I could list that about a thousand things. How can you defend this? How can you say this is right? That's the thing. Well, it's supposed to be the And what person would want to go do that? What person would want to go to a third grade class and dance? Again. Look at the world around you, Stephen. That's what I'm trying Every to say. Every single day. And that brings up, why would we want to vote for Stacey Abram? The phone <laughs> line is open, 706-379-9770. we got to get to a break. We come back. we got the quote of the day. we got a joke of the day. we got a lawyer joke of the day. we got all kinds of stuff going on. Take yeah, us away, Sherry. We want to thank Young Harris Water Sports. You need to go to yhwatersports.com and check them out. They offer rentals, and they have a full marine service center. So if you need to get that boat or that jet ski winterized, they're the folks to go see. You can check them out right over here here at 3676 U.S. Highway 76 West in Young Harris. Give them a call and set up an appointment, 706-896-0834. Young Harris Water Sports and RV now offering the Supreme Surf Boat Line along with Hurricane Deck Boats, Godfrey Pontoons, Monterey, Chaparral, Bayliner Bow Riders, Low Pontoons, along with both Yamaha and Sea-Doo PWCs and more. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the area's largest service center, parts and accessory selection, so there's no need to leave the mountains. <laughs> Young Harris Water Sports and RV at 3676 Highway 76. Online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! Hideaway Lake Chatug offers delicious scratch-made meals and handcrafted cocktails in a relaxing mountain view setting. Enjoy happy hour Monday through Friday from open until 6 p.m. Follow Hideaway Lake Chatug on social media to stay up to date on specials like Margarita Tuesday, Thirsty Thursday, and $1 Wing Wednesday in karaoke. Hideaway Lake Chatug opens at 3 p.m. Monday through Friday and 11 to 11 on Saturday. Hideaway Lake Chatug, 3915 Highway 76, Young Harris. HideawayChatug.com. Our young patients from 30 years ago have grown into mommies and daddies, and the Hiawassee Family Practice continues to take care of every growing family. Trust your loved ones with Dr. Robert Stallcut, Shirley Youngblood, and Ray Townsend for preventative checkups and those little sniffles and aches that just seem to linger on. Right next to the hospital on Main Street, Hiawassee, and most insurance is accepted. We know your names, and you know ours. That's how family medicine should be. Hiawassee Family Practice, 706-896-2289. The Oaks Lakeside Kitchen invites you back to experience the warm Georgia welcome you've been missing and to taste your way through the locally crafted menu by Chef George. Relax around the dinner table with your friends and family with a curated cocktail at the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen. On the shores of Lake Chatoog, the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen welcomes you back. Reservations available at opentable.com. Dinner Friday through Tuesday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen. 
Chris here from Loaded Cow. Fall is here, and that means fall colors, fall weather, and fall home churned ice cream. Favorite the Loaded Cow Facebook page. That way you will be the first to know about our exciting menu changes. Share our page with your friends and meet up for the creamiest ice cream you've ever tasted. Loaded Cow on Georgia 17 between Mary Southern Grill and the Heavenly Bake Shop. It's time now to honor the Prep Athlete of the Week. Brought to you by Ware Chevrolet in Blairsville. Supporting the champions of tomorrow from the five-county area. Andrews quarterback Donovan Bateman threw for 162 yards, one pass for 79 yards, and a touchdown in their victory Friday night over Cherokee. They're now 9-0, and a victory over Murphy Friday night will run the table. Congratulations to the Wildcats and their quarterback Donovan Bateman, the Wear Chevrolet Athlete of the Week. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, we're back with you. We need to talk about Daniel. How do you say it? You can't even say his name. I Daniel best. Duello. Duello. He's got law offices right over here on Blairsville. He has moved up here. I guess he used to work to represent insurance companies, and now he's representing the rest of us. So us. He, he knows all the ins and outs and how to to, uh, to get your case won. Jim knows about that sort of thing. I used to do. be I used to be one of those but insurance uh, defense lawyers, yep. and and uh, there's an old saying: "Hell hath no fury." Like a defense lawyer who jumps the fence and becomes a plaintiff attorney. Well, oh. and I appreciate somebody who does that, who you know sees that they can actually help people. So you do not, you don't have to go to Atlanta to get this kind of help. You've got it right here in Blairsville. Call Daniel up. It's seven zero six six zero three three zero three six. And that being said, across the teletype machine, some folks catch on pretty quick here because I have to be reminded <laughs> daily. But anyway, Ranger Baptist Church. Everyone is invited to Ranger Baptist Church for their trunk or treat October the 29th. That's from 4.30 to 6.30. Wear your costume and collect lots of candy from all the decorated booths. So that's going to be October the 29th down at Ranger Baptist Church. So that's going to be fun. There's a bunch of churches that are doing trunk or treat. Yeah, but they didn't, send me a, they didn't send me a teletype. No, so. it's on this talking points that you never look at. Oh, we got talking points? I didn't even know we had talking points. <laughs> Steve doesn't, he, Stephen doesn't need no stinking Talking I don't points. need no stinking talking it's points. It's joke of the day. <laughs> Never gets old, does it? Yes, it does, but we do it anyway. Hey, Go Steven. Ahead. <laughs> hey, Packy, is it my turn? All right, I'm, I'm glad to be here. What did the cannibal get when it showed up late for the dinner party? It got bones. The cold shoulder. Oh, man, that's always the worst. <laughs> Y'all ever get the cold shoulder? I have many I'm sure times. You, I bet you have. I'm, I don't understand it. You know, I'm like a friendly guy. I come in, talk to everybody, you know, but I get like, yeah, I'm telling you, man, honestly, I get to go. Well, one shoulder. man's friendliness is another's. Well, we, we won't go there. Man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just, it's that pink dog collar. Golly. Yeah. Is that what it is? In the short shorts. <laughs> well, they really wasn't all that short. Oh, man. <laughs> to begin with. That ain't funny. That ain't funny. Sherry, right. Sherry's just thinking of a mental oh, image. And, all righty. No, if get, I was really thinking about it, I'd probably be nauseous. We need, a, la- we right need a lawyer joke. I got one for you. All mm-hmm. right. What separates witnesses in court from the lowest form of life on earth? What separates witnesses? A, I, wit- a, witness, on the, a witness on the witness stand in court. What separates them from the lowest li- form of life on earth? I don't know. The wooden partition around the witness stand. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Do you ever miss it? Do you ever miss being a lawyer? There were a lot of times when it was a lot of fun. Yeah. But it's a very stressful way to make a living. And uh, you think about it, and I was a litigator. You know, you're in court. You're Everybody's always fighting. People are unhappy. It's like this show. Is it like this show? Well, this is kind of like being in court, but right? you know, I'm going to tell you, though. I mean, all jokes aside. <laughs> Makes Jim, no sense, and everybody's no, arguing. No, if you can believe it, it's worse. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jim was a real heavy hitter. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I, I used yeah. to, I used to uh, 
kick a certain part of the anatomy and take names. Yeah. Back in the old days, mm-hmm. I was a prosecutor for 12 years. Mm-hmm. And, in Atlanta, uh, right? Uh, DeKalb County. Yeah, DeKalb County. Yeah, that's changed. But I enjoyed it, and um, and I felt like I was doing a good thing. And later, later I went out and I did insurance defense work. And a lot of times people say, oh, well, you're just, you know, keeping widows and orphans and cripples from... So is that like the, an ambulance chaser? No, no, it's the opposite. When, mm-hmm. when the ambulance chaser files a claim, then you're on the defense no offense side to of the that. ambulance chasers. No, no, no. There are legitimate... <laughs> look. That's the, a group the, we don't want to end up No, no. The dirty <laughs> little secret is there are legitimate cases... And there are also kind of bogus cases, and most cases do get settled. They get resolved out of court because there's generally some aspect of truth in most of the cases that get filed. Well, well now let me ask you this: like in football, they got like uh, they got like you know, or two and O, or with ten and O, and what would be your your ratio? You think? Um, well, I I know what my ratio was in murder cases, but. I have to say, any lawyer that tells you that he or she is undefeated, I'm the undefeated, no, they're lying. How close are you? Well, I have no idea how many total cases I tried. I probably tried hundreds, maybe a thousand or more. I'm not, not all jury trials. I can tell you in murder cases, strictly murder cases, I am... Something like 26 and 3. Something okay. like that. Y'all heard that, and I wanted to get that out there because he's my lawyer, and we've had a couple of folks come over here threatening to sue me. So uh, bring it on. Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. Bring Jim, it on. I bring was, it on. I wanted to say this in private, but Jim has asked me to, to ask you not to refer to him as no, your lawyer. Any I got longer. him on retainer. We're on, he's on retainer. <laughs> the, the, the dollar and 35 cents is gone. No, I'm on retainer. <laughs> So I'm just saying, all you come over here calling me names, going to sue me. Sherry, I'm, I'm, ready. Still, I'm still waiting to see a cent. Of that I for yeah. Yeah, That was the it'll, IOU. Yeah. It'll be a cold day in a certain place. Like a cold but, shoulder over hey, there. Hey, Macedonia, across the teletype machine, trick or trunk, trunk or treat, they're having one on October 30th. That's Saturday night, 530 to 7. Rain or shine, inside if rain. It's going to be inside if it rains. I don't know how they're going to get the cars in there, but anyway. So there's another trunk or treat going well, on. Well, they're going to be doing trunk or treat out in Andrews, North Carolina on Saturday as well in the downtown and if it rains i think they've got an inside space to move to i'm not sure where uh and also shepherd of the mountains church is going to be doing their trunk retreat saturday evening over there at shepherd of the mountains church so a lot of churches are doing stuff like this and we're doing trick or treat at our house like we do every year so y'all come on so by. get there early or bring Steven all your kids will have eaten all bring the all the stuff. kids dress them up homemade outfits are the best i don't care homemade outfits are the best don't you think Hey, and t- uh, tomorrow night... That was a question. Shut up, Stephen. Well, tomorrow night, <laughs> Blairsville Union County is doing their hop trunk retreat uh, over at the Prayer Family Life Center from 5.30 to 8. That's tomorrow evening. So you can literally go clean up on... Packy, you could probably dress as a little kid and clean up on candy. He yeah, wouldn't have to dress up as a the little whole, kid. Yeah, he can go. Rest, rest of the You know, the week. sad thing about it, this is, you know, having all these trunk retreats at these churches, and this is some. this is like the only year some people even go to church. For well, the trunk or treat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like. What are you saying, Steven? I'm just saying, hey, a lot of y'all out there need to get in church. Hey, Blue Ridge Mountain EMC is doing their trunk or treat tomorrow, on Thursday night, so from 4.30 to 6.30. Hey, y'all need to uh, y'all need to tune back in tomorrow. I don't know what the heck's happening, but anyway, man, we're uh-huh. giving up on all the folks that's uh, supposed to call in and support Stacy. They're all down seeing Herschel Walker in L.A.J. this morning. Oh, is he's he down cam- there? He's campaigning in L.A.J. I got some friends here. Uh- well, look at here. Guess who's number one in the Nielsen ratings again?